Holy Naden has goals, literally and figuratively. The George Washington Gecko senior striker is in cruise control as the Lady Geckos are currently undefeated in the IIAG Girls Soccer League at 7-0. Naden came up at Southern High winning a soccer title in her freshman year. She's finished in the top three every year of her high school career, scoring two goals but losing a tough game to Notre Dame in last season's final. Now she's an uptown girl, transferring to GW for her senior year, looking to go out on top. I have a hardworking team with raw talent and they're willing to learn. And we all have the same mindset for championships. G-Dub definitely has the right ingredients for a soccer title this season. Three of their starters play for the Masakata, Guam's national women's team. Nate had started with the Masakata as a 15-year-old. She spent four years with the junior national team, and one of her many highlights, scoring a goal against wannabe nuclear power North Korea in international competition. Being a senior and being on the national team is is honestly a big accomplishment for myself and my friend that um, we're able to travel with the with the Guam and represent Guam and uh, put our name out there and put our island out there. Naden has definitely put her skills on the pitch out there. She started with the Robbie Weber Youth Soccer League's Southern Heat and she now plays for the four-time champs, the PFC Lady Crushers. She's a three-time Golden Boot Award winner. She was also selected as an All-Island forward her freshman and sophomore years at Southern, and in her junior year, she was a first-team midfielder. What she really deserves an award for? Like many scholar-athletes, Colleen juggles academics and athletics successfully. You always have friends help you out, and you're motivated to do your schoolwork because you can't play sports if you don't do your schoolwork. And she has some good advice for other student-athletes, too. Do your work because a lot of these uh, student athletes, they're not able to participate in school sports because they don't get their schoolwork done. So, school first. Naden also excels at rugby. She was an all island top try scorer for Southern in her sophomore year. Soccer and rugby are her go to sports, but she even played tennis for Southern. Now she's focused on bringing home the girls' soccer title for GW. She scored a hat trick against St. John's recently, and although she has her eyes set on what she'll do after high school, she's fully focused on the field. Right now, I plan on going to UOG for my first year, and hopefully um, I'm able to transfer over to Hawaii Pacific University or another college that will give me a good offer. She had a promising practice session with HPU coach Gina Brewer, and she would be a catch on the pitch for any school. She's proven she can elevate her game and dominate at all levels. And that's what makes Colleen Naden a game changer. Press con for the Marianas Open takes place tomorrow morning at 11 at the Verona Hotel in Tumon. Black Belt competitors from Brazil, Ecuador, Hong Kong, Japan, and the U.S. mainland will be introduced to the public. The jiu-jitsu world will be tuned into Guam for the tournament online with a live stream from Flow Grappling. You know, kids nowadays can't afford plane tickets to go off island to compete, so every year they host these tournaments. It gets more and more uh, exciting to see that... Uh, more local people could come out and uh, showcase their jiu-jitsu and uh, their hard work for this, uh, for this one event. A portion of the tournament's net proceeds will be donated to Taya Camille Van Meter and her fight against brain cancer. Before I even started training and actually being competing, like I used to go to these things just to go watch, you know, because I have friends that train also. And just for us, you know, on a tiny island to have a big, host a big event like this on the Marianas, and it's freaking amazing.